It seems that one of our own players has dropped a bit of a bombshell. And I couldn't not make a video about this. Because it's quite major. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, well look no further than the comments Vladimir Sofal has made. Sofal has just dropped a major hint about the future of West Ham United's ownership. As many fans know, Czech billionaire Daniel Krutinsky has repeatedly been linked with a full takeover of the club. And given events that have happened over the last few months, it seems more and more likely that David Sullivan is likely to transfer the club over to Krutinsky in full. Sullivan had a 10-year period from 2013 to 2023 with complete ownership and the earliest convenience for him to leave would possibly be this year. Following the passing of his business partner and co-chairman David Gold, which was unfortunately followed by the passing of his daughter Jacqueline, Sullivan has seemed more and more likely to leave the club. And this is where the Krutinsky news comes in. Krutinsky became West Ham's second biggest stakeholder when he purchased 27% of the club in late 2021. There has been a rumour about a potential takeover in that time. Vlasofal has now made Krutinsky's plans public in the media. And in an interview with Sport CZ, Sofal spoke about the future of David Moyes and in turn he said this quote I can't say from my position whether Moyes will be sacked I don't sit on the board this is a question for our future owner Daniel Krutinsky it means absolutely nothing to me whether he takes full ownership or not is what he then responded when he was pressed about that comment it seems like a slip of the tongue, in a way. Has Sofal just admitted something major, or is he merely confirming what we kind of already know? It's a little bit of both, if you ask me. But one thing is for sure, Krutinsky is likely to have some strong purchasing power within this club. This man is worth a hell of a lot. Three weeks ago, it was rumoured that he was going to pay £150 million for David gold shares and become the majority shareholder which would give him a foot in the door to take full ownership three days ago he became ethnic darty's largest shareholder that's a french retailer he has a 25 percent stake in this company he also has a 10 percent stake in a french supermarket chain called casino He's got a stud of stakes in France with Le Monde and TF1. This guy is a, is a proper businessman who knows how to invest his money. And at West Ham, we need someone who can do that. We need someone who can appropriately invest the money without just using the club as a way to make meaningful and selfish profit. We have to make profit for the greater good of the club in the long run. You look at clubs like Brighton and Brentford, they make profit to reinvest. Solomon hasn't done that. He's just made profit to line his own pockets. And it's been a disgusting way to run the club, in all fairness. Kutinsky's spoken about wanting to have more of a say in the club and want to buy it. And I think if he buys it off, we can have a new era. I think the first thing that would happen is that he would definitely sack David Moyes given that there's been a divide in the board between whether Moyes stays or not. Sullivan's wanted Moyes to stay, and that's no surprise, given that Sullivan's not going to want to pay him off, while Kuczynski's wanted Moyes out, and he's made that clear. And I could see Moyes going if this takeover does happen. But so far, it's dropped a huge hint about the future of this club, and it's something which has gotten a mixed emotion from me personally. I'd be excited, but also... I wouldn't be excited in the sense that it's coming as no surprise to me. <laughs> um, Krutinsky's obviously... Just going to plug this in because it's going to be dying. Krutinsky's obviously going to be with this club for quite some time now. And with his purchasing power and his businessmanship, I think we could see him fully take over the club this summer. It depends what happens, though. If West Ham go down, it might delay things. 
But I think he sees a lot in this club, not at least with the presence of Czech players. And the fact that he admitted that he knew about the club prior to him investing. There may be a lot of happenings going on over the next few months, but it will be interesting and we'll keep updated on this YouTube channel if anything does happen. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Framley Anvil West Ham United for more content. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all soon.